words just don't express how grateful we are. <laughs> and to be able to go home and start, you know, back to normalcy. A scary and emotional week for a Central Ohio family after a serious injury on the basketball court. Buckeye Valley sophomore Troy Scouten went up for a dunk but fell to the floor, landing on his head and neck. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Mark Taylor. Now that fall put Troy in the hospital for a week, but tonight he's walking out. NBC4's Eric Halperin was there as the family went home. He's live outside Nationwide Children's with this family's really scary ordeal here. Eric. Yeah, Mark, Troy and his parents just left the hospital here a couple hours ago. He walked out under his own power and doctors expect he will make a full recovery. The steps Troy Scouten took leaving Children's Hospital are steps his mom April was worried he would never take. I didn't think he was going to walk again. Last Friday night, the Buckeye Valley sophomore power forward went up for a dunk, almost flipped and came crashing down on his head and neck, then had a seizure for about 45 seconds. April was announcing the game. You don't go to a basketball game and, and expect to see what everyone witnessed that night. It was traumatizing to not only us as parents, but everyone there. He's now recovering from a fractured skull and brain bleed. First, he was in the ICU, unable to eat. About a week later, his mom says doctors are amazed at his progress. He just wants to get home and back to normalcy. This is video of Scouten playing earlier this season. Some of his teammates and coaches visited him at the hospital Thursday night, not expecting they'd also get to see him go back home. He's just a skilled player, and, and more importantly, though, he's just a great kid. His varsity head coach, Andy Gast, has been getting 10 to 15 messages a day from coaches around the state checking in on Scouten. April says that's just some of the community support that's played a huge role in the recovery. He just wants to be on the court with his buddies, so he loves the game and he can't wait to get back. And Troy will be able to be back with his teammates. Their next game is Saturday. And one of the questions Troy asked his surgeon today is, can I go to that game at least to just be with my team? The surgeon said yes. Live and local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halperin, NBC4.